Hello, this is Rohan Shaw with Far From Standard Tutoring. You own a propane company. Your job is to build propane tanks that... I, I, think, I think what Rohan is leaving out here is uh, important. What propane is and what propane does. So propane is actually a hydrocarbon. Hey, hey John. Looks like John, this. You react to this oxygen. Hey, though. I don't interrupt your videos. Not to walk in on your videos, do I? So anyways, you own a propane company and you know, you're being told, that everyone needs 10 inches cube of propane. So given that uh, that's how much propane you have to make, your job is to figure out what the dimensions of the cylinder should be that it's in so that your cost is minimized. So clearly now, how well do you do that? Now your cylinder could look like a number of things. Either it could have a uh, really long height, very small radius, or it could have, you know, pretty wide but short. And it could still have the same amount of volume in it. So where do you find that right balance? So now, here at FFS, we use this three-step technique to figure out optimization questions. Now the first thing you want to do is set up an equation for what you want to optimize. So the first thing you want to ask yourself is, what do you want to optimize? Optimize just means to maximize or minimize anything. So what do we want to minimize? Well, we want to minimize, in this case, the surface area of the cylinder. By minimizing the surface area of the cylinder, we have minimized our cost effectively. So what is the formula for the surface area of a cylinder? Well, it, you have two circles, one on the top, one on the bottom, so 2 times pi r squared. And then plus, you have this sheet in the middle, which if you think about it, you you can pull it out into a rectangle where this, hap this was the circumference of the circle. So this is 2 pi r and this is h. So the surface area here is actually 2 pi r h if you just use length times uh, width for rectangles. So this is what you want to optimize. Now, but we have to do that in one variable. So notice how there's many variables here. Actually there's two. There's r and h. So we just want to figure it out in terms of one. How do we do that? And here's where we'll actually have to use a constraint equation. We're constrained with the volume. We know that the volume of the cylinder, which now what's the formula for the volume of a cylinder? Well, we know that the formula for uh, a cube, a cube volume, is length times width times height. So, and you can think of this as a loaf of bread. Really, it's length times width, but then you multiply it by height for all of these. Similarly, for a cylinder, we know that the area here is pi r squared. That's just a circle. And then times the height over here, that's sort of just like this. So pi r squared h is the formula for the volume of a cylinder. These are just easy ways to derive them from scratch in case you ever forget them. So pi r squared h. So we are given that this has to equal, in fact, 10. So our constraint equation is that 10 equals pi r squared h. So now we can solve in terms of one variable. Here, h equals 10 over pi r squared. And we can use this into the equation that we actually want to optimize, which is surface area. We want to minimize surface area. So now our new surface area equation is surface area equals, every time we see an h, we're going to replace it with 10 over pi r squared. So 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r, and instead of h, 10 over pi r squared. And then, of course, you can simplify that to 2 pi r squared plus 20 pi's cancel over r. So now that we have our nice equation in terms of just one variable, what we have to do is take the derivative and set it equal to 0. This will help us optimize it. So once you take the derivative of this surface area, uh, sa prime is 4 pi r plus, you can again think of this as 20 r to the negative 1. So that's just negative uh, 20 r to the negative 2 now. That's the derivative of that. So keeping this in mind, we have to set this equal to 0. So 0 equals 4 pi r plus, uh, well, really minus, minus 20 r to the negative 2. So now we can actually, as you can see, it's just algebra. We can solve for r. And now we'll have the r, the radius, 
that will actually minimize uh, our surface area while still giving us a volume of 10. And of course, you can use that R to figure out the H, and then you'll have the dimensions, the R and the H, of the optimal uh, propane tank. Now, one thing though, our last step is you have to check to make sure that you didn't maximize it instead of minimizing it. So, just to check whether your optimal value is actually a, the max or the min, uh, you actually just look at the second derivative of this guy. So, you would just take SA double prime. You could just figure out what that is and use the R value that you got over here, plug that in, and you just have to notice if SA double prime is a positive number or if it's a negative number. If it's negative, then that means that you're, it's concave down and that your optimal quantity is a maximum. And if it's actually positive, then it's concave up, and so your optimal quantity is a minimum. Well, I hope that this helped you with optimization, and good luck.